A common problem with Z3s is the seat belt guide breaks, um, especially on the driver's side, and uh, they break right here. Um, they, they put a slot, an angled slot, in the guide so that you can slide the seat belt in. And then, you know, if you need to, slide it for maintenance, whatever, slide it back out again. Um, and they always break right here. And so what I've seen on uh, other websites, what gave me the idea for a reinforcement strap, uh, is other websites, there was a picture of somebody that had some Velcro that held, this, held these two parts of the guide together so that, so that it would slide smoothly in and out. Um, I did some research and found that uh, replacing this piece is a nightmare. You have to take the entire seat cover off um, and, and disconnect this. It's a lot of work. Um, and so if there's an easier way to do it, I'm definitely interested. So I uh, messed around and figured out how to build a strap for that, and I'll show you how to do it. All you need to create your seatbelt guide reinforcement strap is uh, some 2-inch wide Velcro. Get the kind that needs to be sewed on. Don't get the kind that has adhesive back. Um, you need an inch and a quarter of the fuzzy side. An inch and a quarter of the fuzzy side and you know we're not building a space shuttle so you know it doesn't have to be perfect but about an inch and a quarter and you need three inches of the hook side so once again it doesn't have to be perfect And what you're going to do is you're going to take the hook side and just hook it onto, and you're going to need to overlap about a quarter inch the foam side. And what we're going to do is take this out to the guide. We're going to wrap it around the guide and hook it on the other side. I'll show you how that works. Here we are back at the seat with our broken guide. And our goal is to strap this side together. So all I'm going to do is put the uh, fuzzy side here. Actually, I'm going to stick the hook side through first, and then fold the fuzzy side over, and pull it as tight as I can, and hook it right here. Now, once again, my goal is to hook the fuzzy, to hook it backwards so that it's, you know, the open side's up back here. Uh, if you don't like that uh, this tab sticks up a little bit, you can trim your hooked part a little bit so that it completely engages the uh, soft side, the hook side completely engages the soft side so that it, it, it sticks down, it'll be, it'll be flush with the other end. And this gives a, enough support across here to make this seat belt guide work correctly. I'm going to trim this off a little bit. So it'll all fit flush. Now, this works pretty well, but it, you know, and, and, it's, and it's quick and easy, and that's one way to do it. Um, I did a, a slight design change on this where uh, rather than use just plain fuzzy side with, you know, just floppy, I went ahead and added a little bit of scrap aluminum that I have. I had a little bit of scrap aluminum. That will give me some firmness to it. And I cut a little piece of drawer liner uh, and glued it, hot glued it on there. And so now if I do the same, kind of the same thing, or feed the hook side through and put this on here. The aluminum provides a little bit of support and also gives me something I can hold on to while I pull it tight. Um, the aluminum provides some support so that it's got some bracing across the gap and that makes it, I can pull this back in, and that makes it um, have a little more support there. Now the other side isn't broken, um, 
I'm going to use the support version on the broken side, and I'm going to use the unsupported version on the non-broken side to prevent it from breaking, give it a little extra bracing. And that's all there is to it.